Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead, friends. How y'all doing today? Well, today I'm going to talk about a YouTube channel I've been watching for a little while now, and uh, it's called Ecuador Homestead. And uh, this young man, his name is Brandon, and uh, I tell you, I really enjoy watching uh, his channel. And what we're doing today, we're going to give him a shout out and give him a little support there. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about uh, his channel, and then I'll let you uh, watch a clip, and he'll tell you about you know what he does over here in Ecuador and what his channel is about but uh, I've been watching uh, him I guess probably a couple months now and uh, what amazed me about this young man is you know he does a lot of different things gardening and one thing they have a lot of different things over in Ecuador that he plants that you know we don't do over here so that's always interesting to see you know what people from other countries doing and uh, this young man is very uh, enthusiastic about what he does, and I guess that's one thing uh, attracts me to his channel is, you know, it's, it's encouraging seeing a young person like that going out doing different things, and we can learn from each other. But uh, let me just go ahead and let you uh, see his video clip, and he'll tell you a little bit more about his channel in Ecuador there. All right, we'll be back in a little while. Hey guys, welcome to Ecuador Homestead. My name is Brandon Tees and I have a homestead here in Ecuador. Here in Ecuador Homestead we raise lots of different things. For example, we raise sheep, we raise chickens, we raise guinea pigs, we also raise and we also raise bees. We also grow lots of different varieties of things that y'all aren't used to growing in the United States. For example, we grow something called taro root that you may not be too familiar with. We also grow something else that's called cassava. And that's it. both of these type of foods are survival foods. Here in Ecuador, we call cassava yuca, and we ca call taro root papachina here in Ecuador. Papachina literally stands for the Chinese potato. And we also have bananas here on Ecuador Homestead. We're all constantly planting bananas every single day to make sure we have a good constant flow of bananas. Homestead isn't the only content I feature on my channel. I also feature content about what it's like to live in Ecuador. appreciate it if you would subscribe to it and I'll see you next time in Ecuador Alright y'all, well you can see he does a lot of different things there on his uh, homestead there got a lot of different animals and he raises bees and everything so i tell you, i think that's great if y'all would tell you what just go over there and visit him sometime uh subscribe to his channel i know i'd appreciate it i know he would too he is trying to grow his channel and uh, i tell you i believe we all can learn a lot from each other so if y'all would just go over there and give him a thumbs up on his videos and uh, give him a little support there so i appreciate y'all coming along today and as always friends for my family years Y'all have a blessed day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.